Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with Game 4 of the World Series for 1994 between the Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros. I did skip a game and quick play the game, uh, Game 3. So we are down two games to one because El or Fernandez, Alex Fernandez got his butt handed to him. Uh, in his pitching uh, performance in Game 3. So that brings us to a point where we are down two games to one, and I, also Alvarez has been injured, and he's out for the series. So um, I had to insert Tommy Gilbert into the rotation for us, and he will be pitching today. Um, he... Um, during the regular season, he was 11 and six for us with a 402 earned run average. So he is going to have to step in there. He's going to have to step into the breach and uh, give us some innings in this uh, game, this pivotal game four. If we lose this game, we're down three games to one, and probably, I'm going to guess, probably aren't going to win the series. So. Um, here you go with the uh, lineups and everything. Uh, and again, this is uh, really, I hate this because you've got where you can't really get all the way down to the bottom of the screen. But anyway, um, for the Houston, the visiting Houston Astros, you have uh, Mouton um, leading off and playing right field. Luis Gonzalez playing left field. Bagwell at first. Biggio, who is on fire playing second base. Ken Caminiti at third. Steve Finley in center. Kevin <laughs> Kevin Smallmouth Bass at DH. Tony Eusebio is catching as he has been most of the series, if not all of it. And Aubin is the shortstop. The pitcher today is some guy, let's see, Tom Karp. I don't know if he was real or not, but in the 20 or in the 1994 season for the Astros he was 12 and 10 with a 503 earned run average on 177 innings so maybe that favors us i don't know for us our lineup is Joey Cora at second Darren Jackson and right Frank Thomas the big hurt at DH and he is on fire as you can see Julio down by the schoolyard Franco at first Robin Ventura at third Tim Raines in left, Carco Weiss at catcher, Ozzy Guillen at short, and the usual Chris Morgan, the made-up guy, playing center field for us. He is, I, as far as I know, he is a made-up player that out of the park just made up and put on my, our roster. So that is what you got there. And during the regular season, this made-up player hit 231. So... We will see what we can do with him. And, of course, as I mentioned, Tommy Gilbert will be pitching for us. Um, and hopefully he can bring home the victory and we can, uh, you know, win this game. So, anyway, we're going to start with the opening pitch. Whenever he's ready. And he walks the first batter. That is not a good thing. Not a good thing. So man on first, no outs. And hopefully that's a double play. No. But we did get the lead runner at second. So we eliminated Mouton. Uh, but there is still now there's a man at first with one out. And uh, that's going to be a jack. And we're down... <laughs> We're down to nothing before I can even bat an eyelash. So this is not this series is not going the best for us. Uh, next batter is Craig Biggio, and Craig Biggio is going to lace a base hit. This is not looking good. Uh, next batter Ken Caminiti, the third baseman, and they steal second. God. All right. You know what? I may just, if we lose this game, I may just quick play the uh, 
game four because it is not looking like we could beat Houston. I mean, we we won a game. I think we won the first, yes, the first game of the series. But since then, it's been all downhill. And he fires over to first to get the third out, but we are losing 2 nothing, and we got to come from behind to win this one. Joey Cora, the leadoff man, And he's going to, looks like he's going to be out, and he is. The next batter is Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson goes down on strikes. This Tom Carp guy is, uh, he's dealing. He's already dealing. And that's a strikeout, a high strike, I thought, but still a strikeout. And so we're down 2 nothing with Gilbert going back out onto the mound, down 2 nothing still in the second inning. And that's going to be a high, deep fly ball, but it is, I think it's caught. Yeah. All right. So it's caught at the wall for one out. And uh, who was that? Eusebio? So, yeah, that was Eusebio. So you got Justin Aubin up. Justin Aubin strikes out. So there's two down. And uh, James Mouton is the batter. And Eusebio tried to steal. I don't know why. Maybe it was a hit and run. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we are back up uh, here in the bottom of the second with Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco, the first baseman, needing two runs just to tie this game in three to take the lead. And he is out. Uh, Robin Ventura is up. And they walk Robin Ventura, so that's our first base runner. Woohoo! Uh, Tim Raines. Tim Rock Raines, and they walk Rock Raines. All right, so now here we got something going. One out, two runners aboard, and Ron Carco Vice! And the ball gets past the catcher. So the runners are going to advance to second and third on that. And now we've got runners at second and third with an out. And Carco Vice, even if he can hit a fly ball, it would be great. And he can. Let's see if that's enough. And it is enough to get us the run. <clears throat> so it's 2-1 to one with two outs and a man at second. And Ozzie Guillen, the batter. And Ozzie Guillen is going to lace a base hit. Can we score that tying run? I think we can. Yes, we can. So now it's tied up. And uh, man at first is uh, is Guillen, and Chris Morgan is the batter. And Chris, did Chris Morgan go deep? No, he went to the wall, though, and it's a double. And that should score Guillen. In fact, it's going to be a triple. Triple for our man Chris Morgan, and we take the lead. Nice. Love it. Love all of it. Although, I do still have a tired bullpen, and probably, and, um, you know, we have to deal with that. But a hit up the middle, and the pitcher can't get it, and we've got another run. All right, it's 4-2. to two. Now I like this. Now I think, now it's we, we're putting a, a better spin on this. Darren Jackson, though, is going to ground out for the last out. But we take the lead in the second inning. And the score is 4-2. to two. And um, we're sending uh, Gilbert out there. We need Gilbert to give us as many innings as he can possibly give us. And that's going to be an out. Nice. That was a 3-1. to one. And uh, Luis Gonzalez is the batter. And uh, he is going to hit a fly ball to Chris Morgan in center for the second out in the third inning. And Jeff Bagwell is the batter. And he is going to hit a, uh, a shallow fly ball to center field to Chris Morgan. And that retires the side. And we go to the bottom of the third. Trying to tie this series up at two games apiece and ahead 4-2. to two. Tom Karp is still out there. Did I call him Tony Karp? Anyway, Tom Karp is still out there, and we got Frank the Big Hurt Thomas up against him. And the Frank Thomas rips a base hit. Next batter, Julio. Julio Franco. Julio Franco is going to let the ball... 
the center fielder lets the ball drop in front of him. That's Finley letting that ball drop, I think. And so we got the first two guys on with no outs and a chance to really blow this game open with Ventura Highway. But it isn't a double play, but they do get the man at second. <clears throat> so uh, runners are now at the corners with one down and Timmy Reigns up. And Tim Reigns is going to, uh, well, I mean, he, he he grounded into an out, but the runner came home, and we have a 5-2 to two lead now with a man at first. Two down, and Carco Vice is up. And Carco Vice, there's that home run that we knew we could get from Carco Vice. Two runs shot. Love it. Carco Vice gives us a 7 to 2 lead. And uh, yeah, yeah, Mike Hampton now is pitching for the Astro Shocker. Ozzy Guillen is the batter. And Ozzy Guillen, no, he's going to fly out. But uh, we have a 7 to 2 lead now, and that gives a little rope to um, Gilbert to try to get us some more innings. Although it looks like he is um, wearing down. So I better get somebody up in the bullpen. Because although I can't see all the way to the bottom of the screen, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I can see that the thing is here. And this is the red end, I think. So let's go get somebody up in the bullpen. Let's get Jason Beret. Jason Raspberry Beret up in the bullpen. Now, he's not good, but... Um, he is a fresh arm. If we need that, and we might, because the first two guys have reached. And uh, and Steve Finley is up. No, oh, Steve Finley's the left fielder, so I guess he wasn't the center fielder. But he struck him out, baby. Struck him out. Um, Kevin Smallmouth Bass. And that's gonna that should be an out, and it is. They get a run, but it's 7-3. to three. And now I am going to go and see if Beret is ready, and he is. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Well, it doesn't show Gilbert as being um, tired yet. Huh. So now I'm, I, I was convinced he was tiring, but it doesn't look like he is. All right, I'm going to I'm going to sit Beret then. I was convinced he was tiring, but anyway, maybe he's not. And maybe he is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to uh, we're going to stick with him at least and try to get the third out. And that is going to be an out. It's going to be a fly out to right field. All right, maybe he's not tired. He did strike a guy out, and he did get the three outs with only allowing one run. We're in the bottom of the fourth, and our man Chris Morgan, who tripled last time, is at the plate. And now he hits it right to the pitcher. Right back to the box, and he's out one to three, and Mike Hampton is still out there pitching strong. And that's going to be a ground out. <clears throat> so we got a four-run lead. Um, Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson, and he's going to be out. So, we're going to the top of the fifth, I believe. Yes, we are. Eusebio, I think, is the batter, and he gets a base hit. <clears throat> I may think about having to warm somebody else up again. Oh, Eusebio again tried to steal, or maybe again it was on the back end of a hit and run. But uh, with any case, there's now one out with nobody on. And that is a shopping at the gap hit. It's going to be a double or a triple. Triple. It's going to be a triple. I think I'm going to try to get through this inning. 
And uh, the, the uh, quick ground out to third holds a runner at third base. And they throw the man out at first. So <clears throat> Biggio is up with two down. And Chris Morgan's got that? Yes. All right, so... Uh, seven to three, Big Frank is up. And Big Frank just went yard! And now it's eight three. I might even keep Gilbert out there. If we can maintain a big lead, I might keep him out there. Because we need him to pitch as much as he can pitch. One down and Robin High Ventura. And they walk Ventura. I think that's the second time they've walked him. It's 8 3, and now John Hudek is pitching for them. He was real. And that's going to be a base hit. And I'm going to, you know what? We're playing with house money, and it did work. And so we got runners at second and third with one away. And Ron Carco Vice, who went deep last time, but he struck out this time. And now we've got Ozzy Gian. Ozzy Gian, base hit guy, but not there. And he is out. <laughs> but we did get a run, and we have a an 8 to 3 lead and Tommy Gilbert I am still going to let me let's go visit mound and see what we're looking at um where is it I know it's up here somewhere options huh I thought visit mound was up was an option up here somewhere Yeah, there it is. I've got plenty left in the tank, he says. All right, well, then we're going to we're going to go with it. If he says he's got plenty left in the tank, and that's going to be a fly out to left. Uh, next batter is Steve Finley. No, Steve Finley is the center fielder. All right. So, yeah. I thought he might be. That might B, that's a fly out. Nice. He kept it in the park. And uh, Kevin Smallmouth Bass is up. And he's going to be out, looks like. And I'll move myself back up here. So we've got an 8-3 lead here in the bottom of the sixth with our man Chris Morgan at the plate. And they're going to walk. No, they struck him out on a high fastball. Come on, that's not a strike. Joey Cora is up. Joey Cora, can he get it? No, he can't beat it out. Or did he? He did. He beat it out. My God. Joey Cora got an infield single off of Hudak. Um, Darren Jackson at the plate. Oh, but he strikes out. So there's two down, and Big Frank, who has been homering left and right in this series, and they rightly decide to walk him. Two runners out, and uh, two out, and Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. And that's going to be a jack! Unbelievable! I think Tommy Gilbert can finish this game, because we're just killing the Astros. Started off a little pessimistically when we were down 2 nothing quickly, but we're up 11-3 to now. And that's another home run. No, it's not. It's a fly ball to left field. Just calm down. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to send definitely keep Gilbert out there. 11-3 um, to in the seventh. And that's going to be a ground out to second base. And I really needed this to preserve the bullpen for the next game, too. In fact, I'm going to try to pitch him the entire game if I can. Fly out to left. And Mouton. Mouton is going to fly out to center, I think. He does. So, yeah. I mean, we're going to try to give Gilbert the, the entire game if we can possibly do that. 
Tim Raines is up. And that's going to be a pop out to Eusebio. Foul out to Eusebio. And now they got Pete Harnish in. They're like, they're, they're pulling out all the stops. That's going to be a deep fly ball out. And that's going to be two down quickly here in the bottom of the seventh. And um, Ozzy Gijin. And he strikes out. And now we're going to the top of the eighth. And you know I got my man out. Let's see what he says about his... Uh, I still feel fresh. All right, well, if you still feel fresh, you're pitching. But he walks the first batter. So we got to be a little concerned and a l watching it a little bit. But that's a fly out to left. So there's one down. There's going to be one down with a man aboard. And Craig Biggio. Craig Biggio. And they just didn't decide that they wanted to. Pulled the double play off. So there's two down and Caminiti up with a man at first base. And they walk Caminiti, which probably is not the worst thing in the world. And um, Tommy Gilbert is still out there pitching strong. And he gets a ground out. And that is the final out in the uh, Astros 8. We go to the bottom of the 8th with an 11-3 lead. And you know I'm going to start next inning at least with Gilbert, and then we'll have somebody warming up if we need to. But there's going to be a pop-out to first base for us for one quick out, then Joey Cora up. Joey Cora is going to ground out. And uh, Darren Jackson is the batter. And Darren Jackson rips a base hit. We got a man aboard here in the eighth with two down. And Frank Thomas, the batter. And he strikes out. So we've got the 11 to 3 lead. I am going to just keep, I'm not even going to ask Gilbert how he is. I'm just going to let him pitch and see what happens. And there's a ground out to second. He might get us a complete game, which we really, really needed. And that's another ground out to second. A lot of work for Cora here. And, uh, yeah, Aubin, Justin Aubin is the shortstop. He's the last guy to try to keep it alive for the Astros. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. And we got a complete game from Gilbert, which we needed very badly and tied this series at two games apiece. So, uh, let's, yeah, let's look at the box score. We win it 11-3. to and we tie the series, and there's the uh, there's the batting stats. You want to take a quick look at that. We were 11, 11 for 34 at the plate. They were 8 for 33. And um, and Franco was great. He was uh, he was 2 for 4 with 3 RBIs. And Thomas was 2 for 4. Yeah, we had some good batting performances. But look at Gilbert. Gilbert came up huge for us. Nine innings pitched, eight hits allowed, three earned runs, and he preserved the bullpen. So we should have a good, um, a good fresh bullpen for uh, game uh, five of this series, tied at two. So I'm not going to go into game five right now. I will do game five and maybe games five and six in another uh, taping a little later. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.